Everybody, welcome in tonight and off the top of today, a bold attack on an armed truck driver. And tonight, the suspects made off with much more than just it's cash. Hello. Adrian D. Piazza is live on East West Highway in Hyattsville with the very latest. Adrian? Good evening to you. This is a residential area, apartments nearby, and a mall as well. But this robbery happened right here. Let me show you at this ATM. People who live here and come to this area are shocked. Normally, like, around here is really a safe place, but, like, hearing from that is, like, really, like, upsetting. To say that you're going to use a gun to rob somebody else when they have a gun, you know, that's, this is crazy. Hyattsville police say the Brinks driver was taking cash out of the ATM when two men wearing ski masks came up with a rifle and what a handgun. This was just after four o'clock today. The suspects took cash from the ATM and the Brinks employee's gun. Sky Fox was over the scene as police investigated. They tell me they are looking into mm -hmm. any possible security cameras that may have recorded the robbery. It's strikingly similar to a crime just three days ago in D.C. Police say three suspects robbed a security guard and a person servicing an ATM on Bladensburg Road in Northeast. They also got away with cash. Here in Hyattsville, people tell me this crime is enough to make them think twice about where they live. Hey, uh, you think those it's hard to believe that something job? like that is happening. No. Because, mm -hmm. because aren't it usually two guys, two Brinks guys, not just one? Nah, these, these guys are brazen like that. They, 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 is uh, it don't have it? I mean, it could be, but I mean, these guys are brazen now. That you got, you got guys that use in, in older generations. You'd have to graduate to this stuff. Now you got fucking dudes doing this at young ages, man. And they're, they're hot, the young dumb full of cum, and they're just running up on bridge trucks. And it, it doesn't doesn't have to be like some seasoned veteran with an inside. They got twelve year olds going business. Well, I think it's, it's I think it's awesome that they're getting Brinks trucks at least. Yeah, I think that's that at is. Least they can get some money out of it. This is not that stupid fucking petty shit. Like those trucks are easy. Those trucks are easy to hit. I I've know, but I, 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 I'll see the I've, I've seen them the way they, the way they conduct themselves. Like, yup, man, yeah, yeah, they're not looking around. Yeah, it had a terrible nah, they walk past. I had one yeah, man walk past me with all that money. He just walked past me. Yeah, but it ain't, it ain't easy to get that money back in circulation. Yeah. Oh, really? It's not? I don't, that, yeah, how, yeah that break that down. depends on which end it's coming from. <laughs> that is true. That is true. And if it's coming in, it's easy. It's None of that shit's marked. Or, or yeah. Noted. But he was taking if it it's out. coming out, it's all been scanned. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely, man. I mean, I'm just sure, I'm trying to look at the bright side of things. <laughs> the sun of your side. <laughs> the sun of your side. Here we go. We're gonna end on this. But be more. Stand up, be more. A rough start to the mayor squeegee collaborative plan. Despite their plan banning squeegee kids from six major corridors in the city. This was the scene at many of them this evening. Screechy kids seemingly paying no mind to the ban, or maybe they didn't know at all. <laughs> Who's shocked by that? <laughs> <laughs> Only the mayor. Only the mayor. Out. Yeah, the squeegee kids are not paying attention to what the mayor told them. That's... <sighs> Collaborative plan. Despite their plan banning squeegee kids from six major corridors in the city, this was the scene at many of them this evening. Squeegee kids seemingly paying no mind to the ban, or maybe they didn't know at all. Meantime, some of our reporters in the field this evening caught them on camera. That's right. Fox 25's Jeff Abel was one of those reporters. He joins us now live. And Jeff, what'd you see out there tonight? Well, you know, starting today, kids armed with squeegees are now banned from six of the city's highest traveled intersections. But not every child appears to be listening. At Pratt and President Streets tonight, the signs are up and the squeegee kids are still out. You don't expect them to go anywhere. Not necessarily, no. This is one of the city's six new no squeegee zones, part of the city's new crackdown, which went into effect today. But at Pratt and President, 
our cameras captured at least five squeegee kids hustling in the no squeegee zone tonight. I really did not expect that the corners would have any squeegee kids there today. If you're starting at the first uh -huh. day with the uh, not listening, I doubt that you're going to continue not listening. You saw four youngsters. You, you observed them. Someone engaged them and they left. Dr. Andre Bundley, who oversees the program at City Hall, spent this day keeping watch on the city's six new zones. We've had no young people in the disallowed zones all day. But those who live and work here at Pratt and President tell a different story. At 2.30 this afternoon, one neighbor captured this, a squeegee kid on the hood of a truck. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dog. Stop so it. Embarrassing. Stop it, bro. <laughs> embarrassing. Right there. Just scratching his paint and shit. Fuck this guy, man. And, and, they, and they just wait till, till that asshole that was on before leaves. And they go yeah, right, right back to it. Yeah. yeah it's not like they're going to go. Yeah. Yeah, I got him about Martin. Your sound is fucked up. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Uh, this is great. The truck, and I, another one on a nearby bicycle, and a third squeegee kid on the side of the road. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't have a belief in that. We showed our pictures to Bundley tonight. I think they are aware. But sometimes when you're aware and you're still hungry, you make choices. Are these kids ain't fucking when hungry? Two police hungry, bro, stop. The president's yeah, they're not hungry. You Look know. at a job hungry. at McDonald's. Their jeans are $700, bro. Stop. They get, they mama get EBT. $1,500. Yeah, them, these kids ain't fucking hungry. All these, all these kids are doing this shit because it's, it's, you don't have responsibility. It's fun. Yeah, exactly. It's it's fun to terrorize people. Just they get a kick out of this. Exactly, they're enjoying they're enjoying enjoying being terrorist and being um, lazy. This is lazy too. You all think about it. If you out there all day and all you get is one person dumb enough to have their phone in plain sight, we can snatch it and clean out their um, cash app or their PayPal. You you've made a week's worth of work, See, and and look at the guy in charge of it. He's he's shown a fucking picture and he refuses to believe it. Right. Oh, no, that guy in charge is making like two hundred thousand bucks a year, man. He's doing good. That guy that guy has no credentials at all to do. And that and job. if the squeegee problem goes away, he loses that money. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he that's doesn't, a thing, he, bro. Yeah, they're probably working for him. Actually, he's probably he's got those guys working the corner for him. I don't know what I'd do if I got robbed by somebody with some Crocs and skinny jeans, man. I'd probably just kill myself, man. <laughs> <laughs> Slides. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like if they, I don't know, they hop in my car, I have to run them over, and if they take me out, shoot, it's gonna be a war between my family and their family, a never ending war. So my, my, my daddy, my daddy, Italy, he'll die for me. Yeah, but the gliders <laughs> are very understanding, man. They were just like, oh, you know, it wasn't their fault that Some they shot my are. dad seven times and gut stomped him. My daddy got to my daddy would go to jail. My daddy would literally go to prison for me. He would die for me. So if a squeegee boy, if he shoot me, he better kill me. Because if I'm alive, me and my dad, we're going to make up and we're going to air every time. Yeah. Well, my daddy will. He'll take the charge. <laughs> we, we need more of your dad. <laughs> we need more. We, 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 that, we, more, nah, we need more dad. sugar daddies, man. We that's, just need a lot nah, of sugar daddies. That's my dad. My uncle, my real father. My real father, my real blood daddy. My sugar daddy. Ain't okay. you sugar baby, though? No, I'm a married woman. No, what's your what's your nickname? Brown sugar. Oh, brown sugar. Yeah, you need a sugar. I said sugar baby. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> uh, I didn't mean it like that. You know what I mean? It was the oh, other one. Okay. Sugar daddy. Sugar daddy and sugar baby. I got confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my bad. <laughs>
Go on, tell me more about murdering them. Tonight, the squeegee kids <laughs> vanished. Police have not confirmed whether warnings were issued on this first day. Bunley insists the problem will not be fixed overnight. But those who live and work in this area seem to be losing patience. I thought this was one little step in the right direction. And I don't want to see it fail, but I really didn't want to see squeegee kids on the corner tonight. This pasty fuck was well, like, they put up a sign. Warnings to squeegee kids who are found to be in these intersections. It will only be issuing citations on the third violation. What the? Last night, Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. There'll be right. only, so you gotta get, you gotta catch them three times in the same spot. They're they gonna, they they gonna violate that shit and, like four times in one day and not get caught. Yeah. They just gonna rotate. But what is a citation? What is that? After the three times you get caught, what do you get? Like you get your squeegee taken line. away. <laughs> They're not gonna get satisfied until a lot of them get killed. I'm telling you. For thirty days, they take your squeegee yeah. for thirty days. They're gonna, yeah. they're gonna mandatory go go lessons. That's all that's gonna happen, man. It's yeah. gonna put them in another program. <laughs> you you're banned from buying Windex and shit. <laughs> wow. Damn. Got to be 18 years old or older to buy Windex and all Oh, my stuff. God. <laughs> no criminal history. Yeah, that's what they do with spray paint. You can get a dildo, though. They got them bitches. He's right on the, on the counter. You can just go grab you one of those. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. All right, man. Great show, man. Mossy, you so funny. Peace out. Peace, y'all. <laughs> all right. Y'all have a good one. Peace out. Yeah. Y'all too. Yeah, likewise. Peace. Good night. Brown sugar. Yeah.